They see the coins out in the front and they say, okay, these are cool, but everyone gets to see these coins. I want to see the coins that no one gets to see. One of the rarest coins of the 20th century. Easily million dollar coin. Wait, what? Yes. Can I, can I hold it? Yeah. Hey, but hey. Thanks a lot. All right. So you're not running this on the side, are you? <laughs> this is not an SD bullion property. No, yeah. but uh, there's a lot to see here. Maybe we should go get the guys who do run this place. Yeah, let's do that. Matt, you're an expert at graded silver too, right? Correct. So yes. um, I'm actually looking to potentially buy some more uh, silver for my constitutional silver series for little stacks. Okay. And yeah. so maybe we can look at some coins, some some older coins that might fit my collection. Of course we can. We carry not just your high top grade coins, but we just your good collector coins. So they could be slightly better dates in certain grades, whether if it's a XF40 to an AU50. Um, they could be slightly better and so we like to keep those grade coins that are tough to find and they could be you know anywhere from fifty dollars or you know forty five dollars on up so wow. yes yeah, so you have some mint state coins you got some proof issued coins Yankee let me explain the difference between collecting and stacking gold and silver for your viewers all right we're going back into the inner sanctum here at US coins and jewelry oh Matt, what do you Come got on here? Back. One of the most interesting things is when customers, they see the coins out in the front and they say, okay, these are cool, but everyone gets to see these coins. I want to see the coins that no one gets to see. And so I am holding right here a customer's coins that just came back. He did absolutely awesome on his grading. He had some of his coins upgrade and he made a very good amount of money. Um, but knowing him, he doesn't want to cash out. He wants to take that and he wants to build more and stack more coins, more silver, more gold and add to it. So let me show you just some of the cool pieces that this customer has. He has this 1893S Morgan silver dollar. This coin is in a new cat grading holder. It actually is XF45+. Plus. Uh, this coin he made around 2500 bucks on. And let me tell you, coins like yeah. this, they're super collectible because it's the key date that everyone wants. It brings a big price point and you don't always have to buy coins that are 15, 17, 20 grand. Um, you can get really cool collectible coins. You know, we sell a lot of coins in the $50 range, uh, $100 range. This is collecting. It's not stacking. This is collecting. So these are collectibles. This customer has been buying for a decade or more. and over time he just keeps trading up and up and up and Interesting. it's just this is a way to invest this. right yeah this is the way to invest um this customer is, is really strictly into gold um he gets into the other you know metals as well but he he really loves his coins and he really loves his paper money um as i'm holding here this 1813 five dollar i mean this coin is absolutely just doesn't come much original and fresh as this and made a big amount of money on this coin unless you really know that you used to sit with your grandpa on the table and go through lincoln since and you're always looking for that 09 <laughs> SPDB, then you're always going to start with the bigger coins the gold coins that is stunning look at that coin wow okay matt do you see people come in sometimes saying, you know, I want to stack, Matt, but I want to be able to build a stack quicker by investing in maybe a graded coin that I think is going to appreciate. Yeah, so maybe they're not, they're not feeling um, like they want to buy into the market right now for the metals. So they, they come in and they sit down and we go over coins and collectibles and they say, you know, I really want to start putting away some really cool historical pieces, um, but I don't want to get burned. Mm. And I want to know more about them. Can you do that? We sit down for hours. And sometimes we'll go back and we answer the same questions that I've already explained. <laughs> but because it's so new, it's so fresh, we want to take the time out always to help the next generation, to help 
uh, new collectors, this is the time, you know, gold's at its peak. So a lot of times when customers get into the double eagles, they get into the pre-33 gold, they take advantage of the premiums being so close to the regular bullion. And also, it also plays, There's because the premiums are not so high on those coins right now, you get a little built-in premium if the gold takes a drop. So, because you have that collector oh, side protector, as well. So you have a little protection? protection <laughs> okay. And you're able to get a coin that is 100 and, you know, 25, 140 year, you know, you, you can get some really cool coins right now for not not a lot of premium. How about silver? What, yes, what, is it a good time as well? Silver, same thing. A lot of the silver coins right now, you can buy fairly fairly cheap compared to the, some of the modern Silver Eagle coins that are out there. So this is just a great opportunity for collectors to get in and, and buy gold and silver, but also get into the numismatics and buy some coinage as well. Awesome. All right. I, I want to show I, one more coin. Okay, so yeah. this customer wanted to try this coin. He, you know, we liked it for an upgrade. He liked it as well. We took it, sent it to PCGS. It came back in a five plus holder. This is the finest for PCGS. And he did absolutely well on this coin. And if you see, it's a seated, <laughs> super collectible coin, super collectible series for the true numismatists out there this is a coin that you want in your set amazing okay man tell me the truth who knows more about uh coins you or your brother <laughs> my brother <laughs> <laughs> smart answer man <laughs> my brother he's been doing it for a long longer time um he's super invested we're both super invested in our craft we want to see the the hobby grow as much as it can here's another example yankee look at this 1837 five dollar this coin right here has super proof-like surfaces. If you see how well struck this coin is, I grade it 63. Now in 62 plus, PCGS Retail has this coin around, I think, 17.5. And 63, a half of a point, it jumps up to 30,000. Wow. So just to show you, in this grading scale from one to 70, you could make a huge impact with just a half a point. How many of these coins were, were put in an envelope and put in Grandpa's safe, or great grandpa, great grandpa's. You know, these are family heirloom pieces. So this is stepping up though from a stacker like me. This is where I would really need to do my research, talk right. with you, learn what I'm doing, and maybe not go all in on this. Right. Yeah. This is something that you want to start slow and really get your information so you know what's your downside, what's your upside, what the trends, what it's done, what the market's done on these in the last 30 years. Right. Really understand what you're buying and also make sure you love the coin. Since you have the expertise of numismatic coins, I thought maybe this would be a good time for me to add to my constitutional silver series for my son Little Stacks. Okay. All right, so I have a few that are missing. Some of them are hard to find, and maybe you could help me. So what, what do we got in front of me here? Yes, so we have a couple coins to add. We have a cap bus quarter. Wow. What's the date on that one? So Eight. it's 1834. Very nice. Don't have that one. And Barber half dollar. Oh, I'm missing that too. Very nice. Now, all these are, are raw. Right. Some of them are probably, or maybe all of them are cleaned, right? Well, some of them can be, um, have some cleaning. That's These okay. two, the I first two that. examples, <laughs> not yep. too bad. Yep. Um, pretty original looking. So here's a trade dollar that we have. It's an 1875 Carson City trade dollar. Oh my word, that thing is gorgeous. Now this coin uh -oh. does look like it has a little cleaning, but the detail on it, look at the feathers, look at the, I mean, just very well struck coin. I love so, it. So, yeah. Wow. So this is a cool coin um, Carson as well. Carson City. Carson City. So that's gonna, that's gonna add a little bit in it. Yeah, ah. have a little premium on there. The Carson City Mint, it, the Mint wasn't around striking coins very long. Uh, they started striking coins in 1870, and that continued on until 1893. All Carson City coins in any silver, gold, any denomination are scarcer, and they're, they're more expensive. They're better. 
This coin is an 1875cc. There's not, there's 1.5 million minted, but there's, if you look in uncirculated in some of the nicer conditions, there's only probably 300 coins or under that are known. So, Whoa. so that's why even though this coin is, um, you know, maybe slightly cleaned, yep. it's still because of the condition of the coin has a very high, uh, you know, gray sheet retail. So it's it's still a very collectible coin. This is a rarity for me, okay? Yeah. I, I'm a stacker, but there's this little bit of a collector in yeah. me. And I do want to display this uh, it raw on right. the wall for my son. It's a really special typeset That's to show cool. him what coinage used to be. Right. What yeah. real money was. Real money, that's right. And still is. <laughs> And then there's a seated dollar. Okay. Seated Liberty dollar. And this one has this some pretty clean. good. Yeah, it's a little clean, yeah. but it, it's it has some um, it's got some circulation. Um Can but I put uh, reverse on that? Yeah. But it has a pretty pretty well I mean it's like one an doll. average average shirt. <laughs> I love it. Very another cool coin. Wow. I pulled something different here. We have a cup a few half dimes. Oh there we go. So, a couple little half dimes that we're going to have to look very at. Very cool. Okay. But, um, very, I mean, if we're talking U.S. money, that's something you typically don't think of or don't see. Most people don't even know that exists. Yes. So, I'm looking at these half dimes. Just looking for any damage or anything because a lot of the smaller coins like this, they were bent. They had, you know, rim damage. They had, you know, um, they were used. Big scratches. They were definitely <laughs> used. So that's actually a good example. I actually like that dark to light contrast on circulate coins. So I might pick I kinda, that one. I kind of like that too. I'm it, digging makes it. The, it makes the details pop a bit. It does, yeah. And it's you know, it's it's a circulate coin. Yeah. You know, it, it kind of shows that history. It you know, it looks looks cool. I like that one and I like this one. Remember, these are the size of your fingernail, so. They're so small. Yeah. Another tough, toughy is this reeded edge half dollar. You know, you usually don't run across the reeded half dollar, not as much as the drape bust halves. Reeded, okay, yeah, yeah, that's on my list too. You know. That's a 37. As I get older and older coins, or as I target older and older coins, is it harder and harder for me to find them in the raw condition? Some of them you're going to have to look for in certified mm. because it gets to a price point that it just makes more sense. And, and this um, is important for people if they're going to be collecting these to have them certified so that there's a level of trust right. of, in what they are and, yeah. and people know what the value can be. You know, they're not making any more of these coins. Oh, I know. Wow. These are really amazing yeah. yeah i love what you're doing with your son collecting this typeset i mean so cool when i get home Thanks, i sometimes bring coins with me and the, my kids go crazy they're looking at them they say wow dad can i have and i said yeah you, these are for y'all so it's, it's very special to share that with the with you know my my kids and um it's something that my dad did so you know it's just generation to generation carrying on the tradition yep. that's so special yep back to stacking right so what's a good stacking what about silver? this silver dragon one oh. three ounce three <laughs> nine fine silver there we go yep and it's got the calendar on the back oh yeah i think it yeah, i'll pick that up could make a good add-on all right matt I'm yeah. going to splurge a little bit. Since I'm yeah. down here in Texas, I'm going to go big and go home. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, appreciate the business. Thanks for coming. Oh, I am so excited. Great Thanks so addition. much, Matt. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. Wow. Oh, it just keeps coming in. Okay, we're going to end this on a very special note that's why i have security next to me or next to you what do yes. you got here for us matt so i'm holding one of the holy grails a 1933 
$10 Indian, one of the rarest coins of the 20th century. And it is easily million dollar coin. Wait, what? Yes. You're holding a million dollar coin? 1933 10. Why is it so expensive? After the recall of 1933, all the gold US coins were discontinued forever. So having anything with the date 1933, there's only one double legal and it traded for millions and millions and millions of dollars. But there's only 30 to 40 of these and this that would be the only coin you could buy with the date 1933. Can I, can I hold it? Yes. I'm holding a million dollar coin. I, it just stuns me. Get that. It's pretty special, Matt. It's super special. Is that for sale or is that already spoken for? <laughs> It is for sale. It is for sale. Well, you're going to have to find another buyer, dude, because I can't afford that. I was really counting on you. <laughs> you were, weren't yes. you? This is the second time we've owned it. Second time? Yeah, so we, we owned this before, and then uh, we sold it, and we bought it back. Uh, obviously, it looks like we bought it back in December of last year. So it's the it's the key key of the set. So if it's for someone that's putting together a 10 Indian set, you have to have the 3310. And here it is. Wow. That's a Guys, cool coin. That, is a, that is a great way to end it. Say, I just want to thank you both for uh, letting me come in here and check out your awesome coin shop. This is amazing. If you're ever down here in Houston, please stop by the U.S. Coins and Jewelry Shop. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, thank Take you. care, yeah. buddy. So there was a minute of 535000 There's only one of the $20 that's legal to own, and that one went for, I think, $20 million.